We'll do, wait. We should do this in English, right? Let's do it. Let's in do English. it in English. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Although I do speak Spanish, if you don't know. So the, 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 yeah. We this is Giancarlo Scanella. What's up, y'all? He does many things, but mainly he's an actor and a singer. Yes. Uh, and there's a lot that I want to know, but first. You've been in LA for a hot second, uh, like a week or so. I have, I have. Well, uh, what have I, you been doing here? Can you tell us? Man, we we we're keeping busy. We we just launched a new song, uh, "Por Algo Será," featuring Joy, which oh, from the Mexican duo Jesse and Joy. Jesse and Joy, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're here so you've been doing way. promo. We've been for doing that? promo for the single. Uh, yeah. We have the we have the. We're here with our boy too. We're here with with my buddy, <laughs> my son. He he's rehearsing for crashing the band. our interview. <laughs> Um, we're going on tour. Uh, we're preparing the tour. But you live in Miami, or where I, do you no, live? No, I live here. I've oh, lived you, here for like two years and a half. You have? Yeah, I'm bi-coastal, so I, I'm between Miami and LA, but I live here. What did you move here originally? Because you want to do English language stuff? Well, I moved here originally. Yeah, for, one, I always loved LA. My mom was raised in Rosemead, California. She left Cuba when she was like three, four years old. And she was raised in Rosemead. That's a little Rosemead, uncommon. I know, I know, but she was there. My mom was there. It, her name was was Lucy. She changed it to the set because that's made, her real name. They made fun of her. No, her real name is Lucy. She's gonna kill me for saying this, by the way. And she loves you, so she watches everything you do. Wait, so yeah. your mom, my mom's was, original her, name was Lucy. was Lucy. But her the kids in school used to pick on her for Lucy. That's a common name. Yeah, but they used to be like uh, Lucy, I'm home, and that's like, hey, uh, <laughs> and my mom hated it because she was like oh. new in this country and whatnot. Lisette is. And Lisette, a mouthful. Yeah, Lisette. Now her name is her son's been Lisette for many years. Everyone knows her as, as Lucy Lisette. So, do you still have any family out here in this area? Yeah, I do. I you have do? cousins out here. Oh. My brother lives with me, Jason. Your brother is also in entertainment. Yes, he is. Well, well, we'll just hop around. Okay. So, well, I'll get to your brother because I'm curious about that too. Yeah, so you grew he's my son's <laughs> back. Oh, never again love, am I going to let him be outside love, for an I interview. Love, I love nobody. But he's staying hydrated, so you I can't be mad at him. You do you, boo-boo. Hey. All right. You grew up in Miami, though. I did. I did. I grew up in Miami. And before, you started wanting to be in showbiz or sing and, and do things of that nature when you were young. Yeah. Where did, where did you go to school? It's a very Miami question. Yeah. I mean, I went to school. I went to... Inmaculada Concepción. Okay. Inmaculada. Inmaculada. I went to a, I went to a religious school as well. Yeah, in, I went to Belen. In Hialeo. Oh, but Belen is Belen is in in a in a nice area. Is it? I was I was I went to Hialeah. I went to school in Hialeah. Well, I was born in Hialeah <laughs> Hospital. Yeah. There you go. I knew that I, I knew that I liked you. I, no. Um, I, uh, Why did I hear somebody? I met somebody who said you went to like the New World School well, of the Arts. No, because I'm talking. I took it back to to preschool. Oh, okay. I took it back. And then you went to the New World no, School of the Arts. No, but by the by the way, I love Immaculate and I love my hometown Hialeah. Uh, and then I went to New World School of the Arts for high school. For high school, yeah. And then uh, you first started out in music. That's like your number one yeah. passion. Yeah, singing in backyards. But but I, would you say like was the was the acting what kind of really put you on the map first? Doing the telenovelas. Well, for sure because I mean when we were singing, we, I mean we had started singing in backyards where I'm from, and then after that, you know, we went to like do Sweet Sixteens and La Quinceañera. So we started. Gloria singing. Stefan did the same thing. Oh, well, there you go. We started. You got to do the the, the Quinceañera yeah. circuit. We did. I did. Uh, yo. That was my that was my shit. And that was before social media. We, yeah, we did the quinceañera circuit. Heavy. I wonder, I wonder what that's like now. Like, if there are like young guys doing the quinceañera circuit, and they're probably very popular on Yo, social media. We need more quinceañera singers out there. Yo, we need more. Well, quinceañera I had. Singers I would go there. to them, but there were there was always just like old dudes. Yeah. Like they were the masters of ceremonies. No. When I was there was no like young people performing. The quinceañeras I did. Yo, it was. <laughs> We were we, we, we had fun. We had fun. I, we saw some crazy things. Some of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life have been in a ballroom. Wow. You know, when, when they're do those kids, they go in. Really? At, at, 15? 15? at fifteen? I didn't go to any of those kids yet. It, it was it was the let me ride that donkey donkey <laughs> music playing. You know, the booty music, and then you would have that slow jam when the slow jam would come on, and everybody would just. Keep it close. Uh, I'm gonna throw my daughters a quinceañera just because I feel like I yes. wanna I, I, the culture. I gotta. I'll, I'll come. I'll come sing. All right. I'll hold you to that. There you go. What was the first telenovela you were in? Uh, the first. So then they they see me singing at this stage, and then the producers from uh from a, Wait, from a show. You were scouted for the show. Exactly. I was. So they were in the audience. They saw me singing. And they asked me, "Do you know how to act?" And I was like, 
uh, I mean, we can give it a shot, let's go. And, and turns out that what they wanted me to act for was a role that the, the guy was a singer. So it was, you know, all I had to do what, was sing. What was the name of that show? That was uh, Idolos de Juventud. And that was a while yeah, ago now, was, like 10 but, years ago but or something? That, well, that, and that show never came out. That was just the pilot that got me eventually the role on, on the Masa del Diablo, which was about 2009, 2010, yeah. Where did that shoot? Cause in Miami. They do? They, wow, I thought, why did I think the most telenovelas filmed in Mexico? Yeah, man, listen to me. You you, you go to Carroll City, Hialeah, <laughs> Opalaca. Really? You, They're filming in all those places? Oh, we film everywhere, baby. Really? Miami's got, yes, great storytelling potential. Wow, I did not know this. Oh, yeah. And then the other ones you did, did they also film in Miami? A lot, of, but most of them. We did Colombia, I did shoot in Mexico. Wow. You know, and then when I, when I did the show with Eva, with Eva Longoria uh, on NBC, telenovela, that shot here. That was okay. Shot. Oh, that's and, why you originally moved out here. And then I originally moved out here because I was actually working on, on my album as well. And, uh, and there was a lot of producers from here. And then the show came through with Eva, so. Oh. And then, uh, yeah. Well, when well, because this has happened, I'm fa fascinated by this. You know, your parents are Cuban. You grew up in Miami, yeah. and there are some Cuban actors that do telenovelas, but oftentimes, like, they want them to speak with like a Mexican accent. Yeah, is that did that was that the case for you too? I mean, did I, they tell you to de-Cubanize yourself? Listen to me. They they definitely did because when I went in. I was as Cuban as they come. <laughs> my, yo, I, I was born in Miami, and and my feet were. It looked like my feet were wet, and I had just come off the raft. Yeah, it looked like, but it looked like Bobby said, "Chuma, chuma, 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 chuma." And uh, but uh, I, my but, son's uh, driving me crazy, moving the table. Ponte but, pa allá, ponte pa allá. I have like slight obsessive tendencies. I love him. I love him. I love him already. Yo. <laughs> You stand your ground, little man. Wait, you have a son. I read that. I do, How old is your son? That's what I'm saying. Look, this guy, this guy's an angel next to oh. my little demon. <laughs> How old is your son? Six. Six. He's five and some change. Six, yes. He would have slapped me in the face four times during this interview. If you were here. <laughs> and does he live in Miami? He does. He does. So you're there a lot, too? Oh, yeah. All the time. All the time. And Oriana, too. Uh, from my, oh, you have two kids? Well, from my, from my ex-partner's uh, uh, first relationship, they had a beautiful baby girl, oh, wow. and then when I started, you know, getting so you're to still know her, involved with her as well. No, 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 no. no. I mean that no. with the baby, like kind no. of. that's my that's my princess. Oh, that's I love my, that. That's my life. That's my princess. I I don't do anything with him that she's not involved. I involve them both. They both have a room in my house. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's my. That's, you you know. have your own place. You don't live with your parents in Miami. <laughs> no, no, no. My mom lives with me. That's own. not like a weird thing. I, or, 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 I, or I should say your parents live with you. That listen would have been the better me. way. Listen, I, I, if, <laughs> if my mother could live with me, I would have her there. My, my mom cooks so amazing, man. <laughs> my oh, mom my does God. not. And my mom, my mom, I, look, I could be, I could one, the day I turn 40, and I think she'll still treat me like if I'm like four. Oh. It's crazy. So You're I, only 30 now? Yes. 30. So you mentioned your brother earlier. He is younger. How much younger than four you? Four years He's younger. He's four years younger than you. You were already doing your thing. Oh, we were oh, were you, every day, growing up. Were you, were you uh, do, in a band with your brother or, or, or you were doing your thing by yourself? Yeah. So then when he says, you know, I want to do this too, what was your response? I mean, I support him. Because, you were? Oh yeah, a thousand percent. You know, there was I, no like, ah, there's no jealousy or anything like no, that? No, no, no jealousy. I, because you know, I, uh, I when he came in, he he's an actor, straight, one hundred. He doesn't sing. No, no, he doesn't sing. So, I just feel like, you know, and my passion is music. So, and we help each other with auditions to this very day. We put ourselves. Does on he stage. live out here too? He lives out here, yeah. So how we, cool, man. We we're a unit. I mean, my brother, like, we have a production company that is going to be you dedicated. Do? We do, we do, and we we just join forces. Um, I can't give too many details on it because the press release is going to come out soon. But there's incredible people involved. Uh, Gloria Stefan, uh, George Lopez. With the production company? Well, with the production company, we have a joint venture with uh, some amazing, incredible people that are about to come out and make a big move for 
women, for Latinos, for all minorities where our stories will be told, supported, where we will be represented. And I love it. Well, there's so much whole, Latino so. talent. Those are some of my favorites. Like, I've been a big champion of these two specifically. I'm sure you know, you know the Chunga Girls? The Chunga Girls? You don't know the Chunga Girls? I'm sure I've seen Oh, them. you got to look them up on YouTube. They're hilarious. I, the, I love them all. Well, that, that's the name. Yeah. And the other one I love is this uh, uh, comedian who does different characters, but my favorite favorite is one called Abuela. Do you know Abuela? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Jenny see, I, Lozano yeah, is her Jenny name. Yeah, Jenny Lozano, of course. They're yeah. also, t oh, and then there's one in Miami, since we're just talking about Cubans, there's this, this guy in Miami who I think is really funny. I don't know why he's not, he should be doing more. His name, I think is Mario Camil. Mario Camil. Or Roberto Camil, something Camil. Okay. He's just so out. funny. I check check, him, check out. him out. I think it's Mario Camil. Camille. And do you know Lely? Lely Hernandez? <laughs> no. But Lely Hernandez. She's a, like a funny person? Uh, oh, she's hilarious. She's hilarious. She's great. Uh, and LeJuan James. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are more like the... the they're like... He's Instagrammer. He's an oh, Instagrammer. Okay, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one's more like YouTubers. But they're, gotcha, on, gotcha, they're gotcha. on Instagram, too. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you're here. You're doing things with the, the album. Is it out already? No, not it's yet, coming out. Yet. The album's coming out. Yeah, we've been working on it this entire time. Do you have a release date? We don't. We, it's looking like August, but but uh, we don't have a release date yet. Uh, there's still there's still some tweaks to be made. Uh, so I don't I don't like to. I haven't submitted it yet. Are you the kind of person that has like a five year plan? Do you know where you want to be, or, or the many things you want to accomplish in the next five years? Oh, man, you got to be flexible sometimes. But yeah, I have a pretty locked in vision of where I want to be, with it, without a doubt. And and more more than anything, more than where I want to be, who I want to represent. Because I think that's the I think that's the question that people forget to ask themselves. You know, it, it, people are so focused on where they want to be that they forget to ask themselves who I want to be. And when you ask yourself who you want to be, then you make decisions based on that who and everything aligns and falls into place. So I like that. Yeah. Who I want to be is a lot richer. <laughs> 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 like, well, that's what having man. that's what having three kids does to hey, you. All I can think when about you is that paper boo. How can I make more money and spend uh, less? Make more and spend oh, less. Yeah, it, it costs money to wipe them. But in addition to your brother, you have two other siblings. I do. We are four. They're, are they all Solid in Miami? Uh, they are in Miami. With well, except, the except your brother. brother yeah. yeah. What do your other siblings do? Uh, are any of them in entertainment? My no, no, none of them are. Uh, my my sister just had a baby. Aww. I'm an uncle for the first time. My niece Aww. is beautiful. My God, she's so beautiful. Uh, and uh, and my brother-in-law is the boss. I, I love him. Uh, and my my older brother is about to get married in Spain. In so, Spain? Oh wow! Yeah. But he doesn't live there. He does not live there. They just love. I know. Spain. I've always dreamt of getting married in Spain. We're Cubans. We, we, you have Spaniard in you. I know. I know. I know. Spaniard, Lebanese on my end. Oh, that's yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, I got this mix there. Like Emilio Stefan, Cuban Lebanese. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we are. We that's my that's my one of my big mentors. He's an amazing guy. I love him. I love him. I love um, him. Are you dating anybody now? I am not. You're not? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm focused on what I'm building. Focused on me, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, along the way in that building process, you know, when you meet the right person. And in LA, have you been dating? I've been yeah, going I've, on dates. I've been getting to know. Yeah, I've been getting to know. <laughs> been getting to know. You slide into their DMs. Nice Is that what you do? do? Nice people. Straight, and I'm not even uh, casual about it, you know. I love it. Straight up. It's such a new day. I, I can't do that though. I always, I just, I get like. No, no. I, I get past. I don't. What do I do? I, instead of like sliding into DMs, I'll like ten photos in a row. Yeah. And like, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> you have a strategy to, yes. let, to let them know. Yes, you're yes. on my radar. Yes, yes, yes. Like instead of sending them, like, what am I gonna do? Send them, like, I just like ten photos in a row, so then they know. And then the comment. I, yeah, res uh, I respect you. Ex or yeah, exactly. Yeah, ten, 10 likes in a row, and then I leave a comment, and then I, and then I kind of hope that they message me. I love your captions. I love what they represent. <laughs> you can tell you're so deep. <laughs> no, 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 listen to me. Real talk though, I'm not doing that that much anymore though. Because Nothing wrong with doing that. No, but I'll tell you why though. Because you, 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 you can come across quite a scare. What do you mean? Like people because you don't you don't know you you know the more the more popular catfish gets and oh. and and you really don't know like how well, you gotta you know? only message verified accounts then. Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> but you know it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's tricky. But uh, uh, but I, I I have done it a thousand percent. 
Well, I uh, hope to see you or more now that I know you live here. No, I, my, my mom's not here right now. She would have loved to have met you. I would have loved to meet um, you. And there's going to be that big Latino TV show on one of the networks uh, that Eva Longoria is doing. The you Grand got, Hotel. Yeah, you got to get I up. I did it. You're in that. Yes, we got picked up. We started oh, shooting. A different, so you were on a different one with her. The I was telenovela. on a different one with her. And now oh, we're you're on doing this one. this one too. Yes. Oh my God, amazing. We are here. Well, yeah. I hope it. I hope it is a hit. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too. No, let me you tell you. You guys did the pilot in we Miami. We did the pilot, and, and and everyone on that cast. Shalim Ortiz is in Shalim it. Shalim Ortiz is in it. Yes, I mean. Who else? What are some of the other names? Uh, Brian Craig. Uh, is he Lincoln. Latino? Well, yes, he's he, he's got Cuban in him. Okay. Yeah, he's got Cuban in the mix there. Denise. Um, uh, Ros Rosalind Sanchez. I gotta get on that show. Damian, I gotta get on that show somehow. <laughs> I'm the plug. I know. Uh, if they're watching, I've been doing a lot of acting. So I, I, or not, I should I say, well, I have, but this pilot season, I didn't book a single thing. I'm the plug, but I have no connection. No, I know, I know. I'm putting it out to the universe. It was a good pilot season, though. I went out for like 12 auditions okay. and some of them like the same casting person kept bringing me in for different pilots so she like so was good. really happy so with she, what I was uh, doing she liked what you did. yeah so that was good but that is good that so is good the pilot for your grand hotel was shot in Miami but you're gonna be filming the show in Los Angeles yeah, yes exactly. and it's based on a telenovela no, 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 it's not at all, at all. Nothing to do. It's an with, original concept. It's a, it's a concept that was already done. Yes, but it, they already did it. I believe they maybe might have done it already in the novella format, but the, but the, the show, the original show, is amazing. I think it originates from Argentina. I'm not sure, but it's just this incredible world that that evolves within this hotel. And you see all these sub stories, and then there's this mystery at the heart of it, where you play this game of who did it, and and all the characters are so intricate. And is so it like an old school American soap opera, like a Dynasty or a Dallas? Ah, uh, you know, look. Or a Melrose Place. I'm look. To be honest with you, I uh, I, I I'm on as a guest recurring star because I fell in love with the character El Rey, and uh, and these are questions that. Eva and the rest of the cast, they know much more into depth. You haven't seen the pilot? I haven't seen the pilot. Oh! I haven't okay. even seen the pilot. I haven't seen the pilot. Um, but uh, Well, I guess recurring is still exciting. No. Especially on, you know, not that there's, well, you can be, ex you are, and it, one can be extremely successful just doing Spanish language stuff, but, you know, it's also nice to do other things, too. A thousand percent. No, no, no. I actually, you know, when, when we talked about when Eva and I sat and talked about the project, I told her, yo, it's amazing. You knew yeah. her beforehand? Because you did the telenovela yeah, show, right? Yeah, I co-starred with her in the telenovela right. show on NBC. It's nice so, to have friends. <laughs> but we auditioned like everyone else, yo. We did, we did. And we did the callback, so it was a process there. I don't like to be handed anything. I like to... Well, earn. you didn't. You, yeah. you, exactly. Well, I like to... In I the like... future, it's nice to be handed stuff. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, you know, if you want to give it, I'm not going to... No, but you know what I mean, you know, because... Uh, you well, know, that's one of the things I actually... Well... Uh, I love diversity, clearly. A thousand percent. But I'm like the whitest Cuban. So I'm not really gonna get cast as a Latino, which is a little unfortunate. And actually, we need even more diversity. We need within, to realize- Within the word Latino. Yeah, we need to realize, you know, like Cristina Saralegui was the Oprah of Spanish language TV and she was even whiter than me. A thousand percent. And blonder, but not a natural blonde. A thousand percent. You know, we, we're all different colors and, you know. <laughs> did you just, did what you it, just shoot one at Cristina there? No, I love Cristina, she's an icon. You said she wasn't a natural blonde. Well, well, not that blonde. She was a bleached ass blonde. You heard him, right? She goes. Is she he trying goes, to? He goes. Why just as me, blonde? Well, I've got some highlights in my hair blonde. too. This is not even that natural. <laughs> uh, well, I, I hope to see you on that even more on, on, if Thank it gets picked so up much. for a second season. Thank you very I'm much. rooting for everybody on that show. And I want to say something, as a matter of fact, because let me let me say something. Uh, when I read this role, El Rey, on the Grand Hotel. It sounds like a drug dealer. I fell in love with this guy. This Can you tell guy, me anything about the character? Unapologetically, just him. He, he has not one ounce of bad intention in his body, but just the way that he grew up and, and the ambience he was raised Why is he in, called he, El Rey? Well, he's, a, he's like a star in the show, you know what okay. I'm saying? He's like a music star in the ah, show. And the guy's like this... You're being typecast. Well, you know... You know <laughs> not a bad thing. But 
no, because that'll help the music then. Well, yeah, we want we we're, we're involved in the music as well. The music is gonna be freaking awesome. They got an incredible team, and uh, what's it called? And this guy brings is the guy that brings the humor to the table in some of the circumstances because it's it's not a comedy you know what i'm saying it's a, it's a it's a it's a crazy show so he brings the humor to the table and i just fell in love with him every time he would come to a scene i go you know what this guy's got something and we're planning the tour regardless so it fell in perfect to our schedule and i wanted to be a part of the show because they're all winners and they're all doing something incredible there uh from the director to just that entire team but uh watch y'all y'all are gonna be surprised and for everybody that's getting guest recurring stars out there supporting roles and whatnot i want to tell y'all yo everybody adds their flavor to the mix and you have to seize the opportunity and make it yours and run with it no matter there's no such thing as a small role no such thing as a small task like we got to give our 100 200 percent in everything that we do be grateful with the opportunities that we're given and for every single step along the road no matter how dark it gets how difficult it gets i know sometimes you just want to lay down on the floor and stay there for like a fucking year <laughs> but when you fight through the darkness and you become friends with it and you understand that everything is put in your path for you to win because you're a fucking winner, you win, y'all. So I wish y'all the best, many blessings. And my brother, you are a winner. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Well, for I'm thankful invite. for being, you know, Latino. I think it's that work ethic that That's helps me be as successful as you, I am. You had to roll the boat, baby. You got to work for Man, it. We, you got, gotta, we you, got back muscle. You got to work harder than anybody else. You got to put the, the, right. the, the, what is it, million hours, 100,000, yeah, whatever. 10,000. 10,000 hours yes. into it. So keep hustling, keep grinding. Check out Jen Carlos' music. Uh, follow him on social media. Yes, Jen Carlos' music. J-E-N-C-A-R-L-O-S music. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and share. Bye. <laughs>